Hi everyone, welcome to Talk Tech with Sonakshi. I'm Sonakshi Pandey and today I'm going to talk to you about how I prepped for my customer engineer interview at Google. So I've divided this video into two parts. In the first part, I'm going to talk about how I prepared for the behavioral interviews. And in the second part, I'm going to talk about the materials that help me prep for my technical interview. So let me start with the behavioral part. In the behavioral interview, they try to see whether you are a good cultural fit or not. So be ready to answer questions based on your experience at work, school and university. Now here are a few tips. Number one, always ensure that you answer in star format, which is situation, task, action and result. It should be clear from the answer what was your role in this particular problem and how you actually helped solve that particular situation, okay? Number two, always ensure that your examples are recent. You should not use examples that are three or four years old because they are not super helpful and they don't give enough data points to the interviewer. Also ensure that you go through the company values and for each company value, you prepare at least two to three examples to talk about or to demonstrate how you actually excel at that value. So this will give the interviewer enough data points to show that you excel in the behavioral part and you are a good cultural fit. Now let me actually talk about the technical part and how I prepared for it. Number one, I read tons of white papers and blogs. White papers and blogs give you a clear understanding of the reference architecture and they also explain why one component was chosen over the other. So definitely read a lot of them. Other than that, check out the system design primer on GitHub. It has architectures for all the frequently asked interview questions. Other than this, I watched tons of YouTube videos and I created my own reference architectures for common interview questions. Other than that, I had recently given the AWS data analytics certification. Studying for this certification gave me a good understanding of different architectural best practices for analytics and big data. This is how I prepared for the tech part. If this video was helpful, please like it. Also, follow me on Instagram and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.